Dominus Rex versus Spinosaurus Egypticus. Jurassic World, Rexy is clearly beaten by the Indominus Rex until she gets help from Blue, a Velociraptor. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It was, but also awesome. Actually, Colin Trevorrow sucks. Anyway, Rexy's a pretty old T-Rex, so she did well in the battle regardless. The T-Rex in Jurassic Park 3, who seems to be a healthy adult, is beaten by a genetically modified Spinosaurus. Apparently, this secret InGen Spinosaurus experiment paved the way for the creation of the Indominus Rex. So the question is, who would win in a fight? The Indominus Rex or the InGen Spinosaurus? Not the four-legged, weak fish catcher one from real life. Nah, I'm messing. Okay, first some stats. The Indominus Rex. Height at head, six meters. Length, 15.2 meters. Weight, unknown, but over 9,000 when it's a juvenile. Bite force, three to five tons PSI, but it uses a slashing ax bite. Speed, 50 kilometers per hour. Pretty damn fast. Diet, anything and mm, everything. Okay, now to the weapons of Indominus. The Indominus Rex was a very large and agile dinosaur, thanks to a sprinkle of raptor DNA. Its vision was similar to Tarbosaurus, in that it was slightly binocular. It possessed a great sense of smell and the ability to camouflage. The Indominus Rex had large arms with elongated middle fingers, possibly for rude gestures. <laughs> Bad joke. It possessed a fairly allosaurian body, built more for agility, not brute strength. Its skull was similar to those of the Abelisaur. Okay, now to the stats of Spinosaurus. Height, four meters at hips, six meters at head, maybe seven. Length, 16 meters. Weight, nine to 12 tons. Bite force, two to three tons PSI. Speed, around 25 kilometers per hour. Diet, fish and small dinosaurs. Now to the weapons of Spinosaurus. It possessed some deadly weapons. He had a weaker bite at around three tons, in proportional to body weight, but had long, strong arms with 18 centimeter claws that could make cuts over five centimeters deep. The long arms of the Spinosaurus gave it a significant advantage in beating the T-Rex, who had no arms, basically. Okay, now onto the advantages of Indominus. The Indominus was slightly smaller and lighter than the mighty Spinosaurus. Although the one in the movie is not fully grown, the Irex was certainly faster and more agile than the Spinosaurus. It possessed larger, more functional arms. Although the genetically enhanced Spinosaurus was certainly gifted in the arm department also. The most significant advantage of the Indominus Rex is its ability to camouflage and surprise attack the Spinosaurus. It's also much more aggressive. Okay, now to the disadvantages of Indominus. The lack of depth perception could be a hindrance to the Indominus Rex while engaged in battle. The Irex also possessed a higher center of gravity, which means unbalancing it could be easier. Okay, now onto the advantages of Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus had a few advantages over Irex. He was larger, heavier, and more stable. Spinosaurus had equally large and powerful arms. That could do some serious damage to the Irex, but it would take many swipes to kill its opponent. The Spinosaurus could also try drowning the Irex, who appears to be afraid of water. Okay, now onto the disadvantages of Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus would have some clear disadvantages in this battle. It was not as strong or as smart as the Indominus Rex. His teeth were conical, made for gripping slippery fish, not for tearing flesh. Spinosaurus also had eyes on the sides of his head, limiting his vision. He had to fight some theropods like Carcharodontosaurus, but didn't possess nearly as much fighting skill as Indominus, who was born to kill. Spinosaurus also had the sail on his back that was fused to his backbone. And if it got slammed by the Indominus, it could potentially break his backbone, paralyzing him. Okay, let's fight. Verdict. I reckon Irex would win 70% of the time. Simply more agile and vicious. But it wouldn't be an easy battle. You would get tired trying to topple the mighty Spinosaurus. This wouldn't be an easy kill in a long, prolonged battle. If it was the InGen Spinosaurus. The real life Spinosaurus would get slaughtered. 
There's a huge difference between the Spinosaurus in real life and the genetically modified InGen Spinosaurus, which was let loose on Isla Sorna. The InGen Spinosaurus was more aggressive and led a more terrestrial lifestyle than the real life Spinosaurus. It was probably a pretty passive animal, only interested in catching fish to survive, and occasionally defending its territory from Sarcosuchus, aka the Super Croc. The location of the fight would also make a huge difference. If it takes place near a river, with the InGen Spinosaurus, then I would wager 50-50. The Indominus Rex is not a fan of water, and even refuses to jump into the river to catch its prey. However, on land, the Irex winning 70% of the time sounds about right. But I'd love to hear your opinions on this subject. The InGen Spinosaurus versus the Indominus Rex. Comments below.